بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the entirely merciful and especially merciful dear viewers everywhere on this planet I greet you by the best greeting greeting of peace Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu peace be unto all of you and by saying this greeting we mean it we mean that we hope that peace would spread among people as our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, taught us that if you do this thing if you spread salam if you spread peace among us to yourselves you will love each other the world around us is lacking this is looking for real peace now and the way to reach there the way to achieve peace as the Prophet وسلم, taught us is to spread it among people to, to spread it by greeting, by statements, to spread it by actions, so that hopefully, inshallah, we can enjoy this life as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to enjoy. As a reminder to you uh, that this episode is part of the main theme, which is about understanding Islam. As I mentioned earlier in previous episodes, that the purpose here is to make people go deep into Islam and in order to understand it. And if they do this and if they achieve this target, they will not be affected by whatever nonsense is said to them, by the false accusations that as are made by people against this religion, which is the religion of all the messengers of Allah. It is the religion that Allah selected to be the religion for all mankind. But it is the decision of people to take it, to accept it, to buy it or not. Because Allah gave us this freedom. As we do in every episode, that I select one of these verses of the Quran, one of these ayat, one of these ayat that are considered or classified as evidence from Almighty Allah, the creator of all human being. And I recite it and then I explain it so that people would really get deeper into this religion. This ayah today is ayah number 69. It's the last ayah in this chapter, chapter called Al-Ankabut. As it reads, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ The meaning of the translation of this verse is as follows. And those who strive hard in our way, we will definitely guide them. We will def definitely give them guidance. And indeed, Allah with the Muhsineen. The Muhsineen here is a degree of being a Muslim. We have Islam and we have Ihsan. Iman, Islam first and then Iman. And then on the top of is Ihsan, which is worshipping Allah sincerely, as if you believe that you worship Allah. You see Allah by your eyes. And if not, you have to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watches you. So it gives you the sense that you are completely aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this caliber of people, Allah is always with them. Allah always supports them because they are so aware and conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let me go to the beginning of it. And that word here that uh, that is the focus here is the word jihad and people yes they have misunderstood totally this word because it's a kind of striving those people who strive hard in our way 
And this can be done in many ways. Of course, one of these ways right, is you strive in seeking knowledge. Now here, Allah would love you because the more knowledge that you have, and here I mean precise knowledge about Allah and his book and about Muhammad وسلم, and his sunnah. The more we know Allah, and this requires striving, resisting the temptation of this life because you may be involved in doing your job or exaggerating or over-exaggerating this matter. So you spend most of your time, excuse me, you spend most of your time just working and working and working and forgetting about the most important thing in this universe, who is the creator of this universe, who is the one who created you and created everything around you and created everything for you. You forget about him and you keep yourself indulged in other things. So it requires some sort of striving in order to achieve some sort of balance and in order to put the priorities in the right way. So this requires a lot of effort and requires a lot of seeking knowledge. You need to seek knowledge. You need to ask people around you. You need to find what is required from you from this Quran, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you don't know, you ask one scholar, another scholar, another scholar, yes, until you get it right. And then after that, you continue and you keep doing this until you die. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in another ayah that tells us, As'alu ahla al-ilm, as'alu ahla al-dhikri, exactly as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, heal ahla al-dhikr, of course, scholars. That so ask them if you don't know. You don't know, you go to this scholar, you seek knowledge, you study this book of this scholar and you ask and ask and ask and ask. And in this way, you are striving. And we, as we have heard from many teachers and many educators, and seeking knowledge is not an easy thing. Because sometimes down the road, you lose the momentum. And this is something that happens to the people because the nature of knowledge is not something sweet. It's something that requires attracting you from other things that you do and make you focus on this. Some people all the time talk about fun and entertainment and other things in life, but yet this does not give them everything that they want. You want to get later life you have to be focused on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught you. So it requires, as you see, as it sounds, that some sort of striving. Now you strive on this way because this is the way that makes you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا This is part or one form of the word jihad that people misunderstood it. Of course, there are many other forms. So, of course, again, you strive hard to resist the temptation of this life. You're enjoying watching a game on the TV. You enjoy talking to people, with your friends, your parents. and You enjoy going to the mall. You enjoy, there are many ways of enjoy. Yet, when you do this, and the time of prayer comes, you should know that immediately, you should quit whatever task that you have, whatever enjoyment that you have, and immediately run and respond to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you reflect upon the words of the call, it tells you that if you're looking for, come to success. Come to prayer. If you are seeking success, come to prayer. And this requires from you some sort of uh, striving, some sort of resisting the temptation of uh, all these kinds of enjoyment that I mentioned. So here it requires, as you see, striving. And in every aspect of life, there are some sort of striving. And that's why you try 
Every time you ask your child, come and study this, come and do this, come, the first response is, Mom, I want to play. I want to finish this game. I want to finish talking to my friends and everyone. And you insist on them and showing them that, yes, you need to make this balance. You can watch the TV. You can play a game. Yet, this is enough. There's time for this and time for that. So here you need to make a balance. And everybody is trying to make some sort of balance uh, in his life or in her life. Uh, they required some sort of determination and strong will in order to keep this balance. So this striving, as I said, that is part of if we do it for the sake of Allah, if we do it to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will be guided. Sometimes we do our best. We try to explain this great religion to other people. With all different approaches, when we use different techniques, yet the person who they invite, the person that we try to invite, he or she don't respond. Why? Because they are not sincere in looking for guidance. If you want to be guided, the first step, you have to keep your heart sincere. Sincere that you want to look for the truth. And if you are sincere, be sure, be sure as this verse confirms and emphasizes for us. It tells us that if you sincerely do this and your intention is that you're doing it for the sake of Allah, you are sincere, you're looking for guidance, Allah will guarantee guidance. As the verse says, لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ This L in لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ is an emphatic L that confirms that Allah will definitely guide you as long as you are striving sincerely to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you do this, this is part of the conditions and inshallah, you will be guided in your life and you will know the right way and inshallah, you will get access to paradise. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us all and to keep us guided until we die. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Oh